Hey, what's up, you guys? I look like trash. Welcome back. If you couldn't tell by the title, I'm going to be telling you guys about um, my time at Blue Lake. And yeah, so. I need to leave. I'm sorry. Um, so my time at Blue Lake was my first session of the summer of 2018, which was cool, I guess. <laughs> Um, uh, this was my first year going to Blue Lake, and I really want to make some more memories going in to, you know, like, from the summer between 9th and 10th grade. I really want to go back, and I just have to meet my goals, and then I'm going, so, yeah. And in Blue Lake, you have to get a scholar- I mean, like, everybody gets a scholarship, and everyone's welcome, basically, so, yeah. Um, anyways- so I made a lot of friends, some in my cabin and unit, and some from my major, which was choir, and some from my minor, which was musical theater. <laughs> so I was a part of the unit Sleepy Hollow, a sleepy Halloween, sleepy Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. <laughs> Uh, and the cabin Schubert, which was honestly the best experience. I had the most amazing counselor and the most amazing cabin mates, which I still keep in touch with them because they are actually the most amazing human beings I could ever ask for. And they are not fake, which is like the only thing I want in a friendship, basically. I don't even think if we're like friends or something, but like they're pretty great people. Um, um, so, yeah, this is the part where I do my haul. That's not part of the haul. So, first I have my backpack, which I hold everything, hold, which I hold everything around, which was, like, actually the most amazing thing to have, because I needed it. Um. So, this backpack, um, that just says Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp, which actually helped me, what? Um, and I bought legit one pin, which just says Sleepy Hollow, Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp, which is right here, it's got a little treat, so it's like cute, actually. Um, and then this was my badge, which I had to wear legit every day. And then these are just some irrelevant pins from soccer. I don't know what that was. So next is my choir folder. And yeah, I'm number 39, which was weird because I'm like either in the 20s and like for the first time ever I was in the 10s numbers and then now I'm like in the 30s and like like late 30s which is weird so I have basically all of my music that I um, performed which was this song in a different language <laughs> called Kwanyang Tu Sano Santus which is actually like really cool I don't know if you can see that because it's pretty bright but yeah it was a really nice piece we didn't sing the entire thing. Oh my gosh. We didn't sing the entire thing, but... Because it's like... Legit, the last measure is... Two hundred ninety-eight. So, yeah. We didn't sing the entire thing, but... It was nice. <laughs> Um, I didn't know any of the words, so I was just like, yeah! <laughs> um, the next one that we performed was Ain't I'm Gonna Let No- Ain't Gonna Let Nobody Turn Me Around, which was a really nice piece. It was just basically about how- it was about fire and protest. That was legit. <laughs> um, it was for when- I don't remember, but it was for a protest that they had- in like the 60s I think 
Um, and yeah, this was probably one of my favorite pieces. Um, it was really cool to do. We got to march around the stage. Which, well, yeah. And I was in the front row because I'm legit short. So, yeah. <laughs> um, the next one was my actual, like, this was, that was, like, my second favorite piece. This is my most favorite piece. Like, this is my number one favorite piece. It's called A Dream Within a Dream, and it's actually written by Edgar Allan Poe, which is a poet, which is, like, my favorite poet. Um, and I didn't get the solo, but that's okay, because mm, I probably would have freaked out on stage. But this is actually probably my favorite song in the world. Like, forget all of this, like, 2018 music <laughs> things. This is my favorite song, I think. I love this one so much. It is so nice and so cute. It's actually about, I think, some his, like, wife dying. I think that's what it is because it was around that time. I look like a toe. <laughs> but this is my favorite piece ever. I don't know how many times I can say that, but... I love it so much, man. This next one is... Hebrew. I almost said something else, but it's not. Um, it's called Hinimatov. At first, when I first saw it, I thought it said, Hey, nay, my toe, but it didn't, which was actually a really cute song. It was about, um, it's actually, like, translated, He nay, my toe, says, Behold how good and pleasant it is for bear men to dwell in unity, which isn't one lyric in this song. <laughs> I don't know, man, but yeah, this is a really nice piece. Um, it's it's really cool. I like it. Not as much as I love a dream within a dream, but it's it's great. I didn't do a zoom in, so I'm just gonna do that. But this is a really cute piece. It's just about being together. Now this net one. <laughs> now this next one hits really close to my hometown. If that makes sense. Not really. I don't know. But it's called A Flint Holds Fire. And it's about the um, Flint water crisis. Which is in Flint. It's in Flint. <laughs> um, this is actually a poem. But um, the a school in Flint um, created the rest of the song. And added some other people. Like, um, like for some of the solos, like it was like a speaking solo so you would just speak and how about how some of the kids felt and yeah this is a really nice piece um and at the end like you just have a um oh if you want to donate or whatever um to help there's a, a code <laughs> if that makes any sense so yeah this is a really nice piece also i really like it it's probably not one of my favorites but it's it's a nice one yeah and then this last one that we performed was We Rise Again. And this is so nice. It's just about letting people, like, know. Like, making sure that your children and the next generation are, like, looking up to you, basically. And just making right decisions. And it's so nice because, like, it's like, it's just, I love it so much. It's probably one of my favorite pieces. It's probably my next second favorite, I think. I don't know. And then in my next part of my folder, I just have my other classes. So this was for my musical theater class. It was Glee Club Rehearsal. And yeah, so me and my friend Adam actually made um, our characters because that's what we were assigned to do. And my character was Chelsea and Adam's character was Adam, like the vine, not like his name. Um, so Adam wrote, I love to sing and be in choir as well as food too. Um, I am bit, <laughs> I am a bitter boy. I have many friends, including Chelsea. Happiness is Chicken Little. Cause I do not look like Chicken Little. Chicken Little is a coward and I am not a coward. I'm going to add it right here instead of me saying. And then what I wrote, 
was <laughs> I like dinner food and being in the glee club. I have no friends. Happiness is like dinner food and death. So yeah, Glee Club rehearsal was nice. We also sang a song about happiness. And I had a solo in that one. Let's see, what was my solo? Because I forgot. It was daytime and nighttime too. Not the entire sentence. Not happiness is morning and evening, daytime and nighttime too. For happiness is anyone and anything at all that's loved by you. It's just daytime and nighttime too. Which I'm fine with. I don't even care. So yeah, this was really cute. Um... I had to fight with some people, but it was fine because that was the point of this next was my packet from my technique class, which is actually this thick. Like, I wish I was that thick. Just kidding. Um, so basically I would just take notes with whatever my technique teacher would write or say because I didn't know what to do. So that was it. These are some good notes. I should keep this. Like, I mean, I'm going to, but these are some good notes. Oh, I need this piano. Cool guys don't actually eat because four dogs are eating before fighting. Good to know. Um, this next piece is from my choir class, actually, but we did not perform it. We sang it a couple times, but that was only because, no. We just needed to be exposed to all of the music that was in our folder. Um, but we didn't need to um, sing it, but we did for this one every once in a while. So this is called When Thunder Comes. It was really, um, I don't like this piece, like, at all. Sorry. It's my opinion. How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion. So this next one is called Our Time Slash Shout, which we did not learn it at all. We listened to it once. And that was it. Like, we were exposed to it, and then we put it away forever. So, yeah, it was really cute. Uh, not cute, but I like this piece a lot. Um, I'm sad that we didn't get to perform it, but that's fine. I'm not the choir instructor. Now, this next piece we did not perform at all. We just performed it on the last day, which was in front of everybody. So, on the final Sunday... On the last concert, no, on the final Saturday, on the last concert, everybody stands up and we sing Canterbury Lane, which is the Fine Arts Camp theme song, which is so amazing. I love this song so much. I cried when I, we sang it because I was hooked with all my friends and... Oh my gosh, I love this song so much. I'm going to start crying because it was so amazing and just, like, it was such a great experience for me. Yeah. This next is my schedule, which was pretty chaotic because, I don't know, but basically every morning I would wake up at 6 o'clock because I have to take morning meds. And then I'd go to breakfast and then sectional, which was 40 minutes long. Actually, it was 35 minutes long, but uh, because he never let us out on time, so he had to change it to 35, which I was cool with. Then I had AM rehearsal, which was cool. Oh, oh. Then I had technique, and then I had my free period, which either I took a nap, I organized my suitcase, because that's what I did for the last two days of camp, and I still it still was a mess. Like, it was bad. Then I had lunch, which was okay. Then I had a minor, which was a musical theater. Mm. Then I had piano rehearsal, and then I had rec time, which usually I went swimming with my then boyfriend. Story time! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's save for another video. Um, and then I had dinner, and then we went back to our cabin, and we just talked a lot or I did my homework but yeah um but on the last day it was really weird because like we got to wait we had to wake up at the same time but we went to our warm-up and then we went to our final concert and then we left and it was sad 
Well, I miss it a lot. I don't want to cry. So I'm not going to. And then I have this cute little drawing that my doppelganger, um, like my actual doppelganger who was in my same unit, not in my cabin though, but she just says she drew this dog and she also gave me a tattoo. I'll leave it right here. Um, and then it says, I love you, my fellow twin. And then, it, yeah, I'm going to get this tattooed on my stomach because I love it so much. I'm not really, but. This next thing is our, um. I don't know what this is called. But this is like the, um program for the last concert that I was in which was my choir concert musical theater was not on the last Sunday but it was on the last Saturday and I performed in front of the some of the parents that wanted to show up um <laughs> which was nice and yeah my name is Chelsea. What's your favorite dinner food? This next thing is a hi my name is which I hung on my bunk bed. I have my friend from my other ca my cabin one of my cabin mates. She left early and left hers so I took it. Oops. I have a lot of other things that were from there but I don't want to share them so I'm not going to. Um, But yeah. So it's basically like hometown, school, favorite class, which I wrote choir, obviously, because I was my major. Um, my art at Blue Lake, <laughs> choir. I just want to um, take a look at this picture that I drew. One of my best. I'm just going to share some of my interests. This is my first year, first summer at Blue Lake. Um, other interests, eating, podcast, music, Netflix. My favorite music at the moment is Indies, R&B, and 90s. <laughs> One of my <laughs> funniest moments, being happy. <laughs> Best Halloween costume. <coughs> A chicken. Hidden talent. I'm annoying. <laughs> favorite food. Not gonna share it. But it's yogurt right now, so it's fun. Favorite line from a movie. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. That's not actually it. This is what it actually is. If only I could die. <laughs> so, okay. These were all jokes. It wasn't true. Um. So, yeah. I would spend my last dollar on food. Parents' nicknames. Parents' nicks Parents' nicknames for me. Nano Banano. Mango. May, which I call myself May. No one else calls me May except my friends. Places to go before I die. My grave. <laughs> Again, it's a joke. It's not true. Hi, my name is May. That's the most important thing. Um, my self-portrait. Um, favorite work of art, literature, or architect? Architecture. Sunflowers by Vincent Van Gogh. I don't think that's what it's actually called, but I love that thing so much. It's my favorite piece of artwork. My ultimate job would be a pop star. I love to sing so much. Um, my brush with fame is my talent show at my school. Literally. I was proud of myself when I got a scholarship, which is to hear. I came to Blue Lake because I'm bored inspirational this next thing was our schedule it was our calendar for schedule one which was the same going through all of this season sessions um but yeah i was there for fourth of july which was cool but we didn't have fireworks on fourth of july we had it on july 5th but it was cool because it was on Lake. Then the last final thing that's been off east was my map because I got lost so many times it's not even funny. 
Do you know? Okay, one time I was <laughs> story time. Actually, I'll tell you guys the story. One point in time, I got lost going to breakfast. I was late to morning meds. Like, okay, so it wasn't like I was late, late, but I was behind all my other people that were in my thing, in my unit. So I was like rushing, and finally I got there, and I was in the wrong line, so I had to go find my other line, which this was like on the first full day, I think. And yeah, that was basically it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I got lost finding my way to breakfast. And, yeah, I didn't have my map then, so I had to figure my way through. So, yeah. Um, a few other things that I got are at my dad's house, but I do have a shirt here, and it's in my drawers, but I don't want to get up because I'm wearing pants right now. So, that makes no sense, but, okay. Um, but I got a blue shirt, which I had to wear every day. I had, I have three. I broke one of them, like, the button came off. But I had, I have one here. It's pretty lit, man. I guess. I got a sweatshirt. She saw my first video. I got some sweatpants, which you saw never. You have not seen them yet. Um, I have um, a sweater. Which I had to wear to special events and cold days. But that was cool because I was during the heat wave, so I didn't have to go. The heat wave was the worst thing because we didn't have air conditioning, and I am orange. But we didn't have air conditioning in cabins in some of my classes, so that was fun. And most of the time, I had to work, like, all the time. So, knowing me, I would complain. And I got the um, high-maintenance crown. Eh. For the altos. Sorry, altos. Love you. Anyways, um, yeah, I took a shower, like, every other day because, one, the shower water was egg water. It was gross. Two, the lines for showers were always so busy. Like, it was so jam-packed. Like, even if you went to go take a shower at night, it would be jam-packed. The only time I could take a shower was at 6 in the morning, which I already had to wake up early, so it was perfect. That way, I could start getting ready. So, I would just go take a shower every morning. Not every morning, every other morning. And then I'd get yelled at because I was in there for too long when I'd been in there for a minute. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, did I even brush my teeth, Apple? Yes, I did. Don't worry, I did. <laughs> okay, so that was um, it. With that, <laughs> um, make sure you guys like and subscribe down below because I post a video well I post my vlogs every Monday and a different video every Wednesday so yeah make sure you guys go check that out I'll see you Monday